Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my equipment and supplies are down in the description box and most of them have links to so check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the videos when they come out, hit the notification bell. Alright, it's been a day or two or a week since I have done any of this. I've been um, playing with my acrylics and whew, it's good to be back with these. They're so fun. It's like being back home. All right, I think what I want to do, I saw something Lonnie Zimino did. I hope I pronounce it right. She's incredible. And these intrigue me. It's the little spidery thing she does. And I'm just like, those are stinking cute. Um, I've done a few of them, but I always like to give her credit when I do them because they definitely came from her. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to do a um, purple flower. And I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of the Blanco Blanco with it. And I want to do some blue and green leaves. And then I want to... Do the sprigly things, depending on, I guess, the size. I don't know. We'll work that out in a minute. Um, I also want to do, what do I want to do? I want to do some, I want to do some in the purple. I want to mix a couple colors. Where's my swatch? And I've got new colors and I haven't swatched them, and now I feel like I'm, ooh, aquamarine. I feel like I am not, I don't understand what I've got because I don't have them swatched. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Okay. So, what I'm doing is aquamarine and amethyst for my flower, denim and bottle for my leaves, and I don't know what I'm going to do on the spriggy thing. I have no idea. We'll see when we get there. Um, I, I've not mixed two colors before, so let's see. I'm using my Tim Holtz thing here. Blowing tool, I think is what it's called. All right, so let's just start. Let's just start. I'm just going to start and do one. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do the two colors. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. Put one drop, one drop, and that. That gives it a lot of time to spread out. Don't know that this is what I'm liking. All right, I'll just blow easy. This could be interesting. <laughs> okay. Just don't blow a lot because this is put, it uh, has time to spread is I guess what I'm going here after telling. Wow. Yeah, I want this to be a little bit of different, just not a solid color. I want them to be mixed up a little. I guess it's no wonder that I like acrylic blow or the pouring paint because you you just never know what you're gonna get every time it's a surprise. So yeah, I'm I'm loving this. That purple comes out really fast. I'm probably putting two three drops of ink. It's a lot, but. I want something right here, I think. Well, maybe just a purple. I'm 
Okay. As lopsided as that is, and as much as it's driving me bonkers, I'm going to leave it. Because I get so proud of myself when I do that. Because I want everything so even. And that makes perfect sense for a person that keeps picking medium that just goes crazy. Okay. I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright. So, I picked a green and a blue that I thought complemented each other as far as um, the colors would blend well. Like, these have done really well. And I think this blue, but this green might not do it, so I've changed up blues. I may be sorry. We'll see. But I want them to mesh in their own. I don't want to use this blue and connect the two. So, that's my game plan. There is a huge bird in my front yard. I don't even know what it's doing. Sorry, very distracted. Um, okay, I'm gonna obviously put a leaf here because it's lacking in petals. see my blue but I do like the color the color goes really well with this I think I did my blue and green on top of each other so maybe not in it'll change It's enough of the same that it looks like it may be part of the flower. So, I like this color versus this. So, I may just put them on top of each other. And if they come out separate, that's fine too. That is really pretty. Wow. I love this medium. going to come out different. Oh my word. How cool is that? I don't know if I'm going to have room for my squigglies. This is going to be incredible. Okay. I'm kind of losing my thoughts here. I keep looking at what I just did. Like, Wow. did not want it to go off my paper, but oh well, it did. Yeah, every leaf is different. That's, that's wild. I definitely want one here. Alright, I don't know what I want to do, so I'm going to hold this up and look. Yeah, I definitely need to do something here. Maybe, well, there's too much. Something needs to be down here. So, I'm going to put it here and let it come over this way. something here, and 
kind of that maybe that may be all I do. I do like that it doesn't run over into something that's already been painted. It's pretty good to stay in its little lane. So I do like that. Yeah, that looks generally even. Um, hmm. I kind of want to put something there. I don't know why. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, let's just let's just do a little just something. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. That is somewhat even to my eye. The flower is absolutely crazy credible. That's, that's, whew. Okay. Enough about the flowers. All right. Let me look. Yes. Awesome colors. All right. So I'm thinking. All right. Let's, let's do this. We're going to have to pull out swatches. Um, what is that? Grass green. Da, da, da. Oh, that's my Marabou's. I mean, the Bombay inks. That would be pretty, I think. Um, I'm not loving. All right, there's my acrylics. Mmm. digging any of those unless I do this really dark blue. Where's my inks? Um, hmm. My purple. What is it? It's kind of a No, I think I think blue. I think blue is my kind of common thing. So I guess take a piece of paper to move this and let's see which one of these because it needs to be a really cool blue and not as in bad but it's got to be cool. guess this one's not what I need. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to even try it. No, because look, I shook it up. Yeah. This is more of a purpley blue. You know, I have this iridescent one. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it might do it on some of those lighter pieces. Let's see. That'll work. Not so much. Okay. It really, either one of those could do. See, this is pretty dark. Let's go with the lighter one. Which was. Oh, crap, I didn't close my. Always put your lid on this stuff. That is like the number one thing I fuss about. Put your lid on. And then I don't do it, so I have a big old mess. Oh well. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> it's Tim Holtz again. Um, the media mat. It's glass. It's awesome. I have stuff on it, and I can just wipe, start wiping it off, and I've loved it. Okay.
I'm just going to cry. I'm just going to cry. All right, let's see what we can do to take that off. And this is the Bombay ink. So this is the this is the scoop on these things. And I haven't done, I said I was going to, hadn't done the really big review on it yet. You treat them like watercolor. You can rinse it with water. You can add water. You dilute it with water. It's awesome. When it dries, it is permanent. Water won't budget. Water won't. Have I got a leak? Okay. I'm falling apart here. Water won't do anything to it once it's dry. Now, alcohol will. Now, you can use it with alcohol. It plays with alcohol. You can dilute it with alcohol. You can use it just like you do the alcohol inks. But when it dries, alcohol will reactivate it and remove it and do all that good stuff. So having said that, it plays both with the water and alcohol just differently. It dries differently. So that's why I was able to get some of that up. Um, okay. Purple blue fingers. I'm going to put a drop down and just see what I can get going on it. If nothing else, at least we've played with a technique, which is really my goal is to show you techniques so you can create your own stuff. Once you have those under your belt, you can do anything. Okay, uh, let's do one here. And I don't know if using my airbrush would be better. We're gonna try that out. Try the airbrush. I don't think I'm so great at that. Now this is my one that it's a little black box. It does about 20-25 PSI's. My other one was downstairs with the um, acrylics. Can do 50 or 60 or more. I don't know. I haven't used it past that. It might like go and do a lot better. But we're this is here, so we're going to use it. And these look easy to do. They are not. They are not easy. Jeez. She makes them look like they're just effortless, and I'm like struggling here. It's going to be interesting anyhow. Let's just put that way.
<laughs> Those are kind of fun. All right, let me look at this. I have to say, I'm unnerved. I am just unnerved. <laughs> These are fun, but whew, it's taking me out of my comfort zone. Okay. Uh, I like trying new stuff, but I'm telling you, it will wear me out. So this is like upset me, and uh, but I'm lo <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Whew, my nerves are shot. All right, you know what's coming next? That is, um, well, I got to do the inside first. Then I'm doing my outlines because I can play and work with all these colors. I am just, oh, I can't wait to get to the outlining part. Okay, first I've got to, I'm going to do white. Um, I got white in the Bombay inks. <laughs> Nothing like having a breakdown on a Monday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know what I forgot to do. Spray it. I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I forgot these really interact with the alcohol inks. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Kmar, and I'm gonna go spray it. And double check everything, make sure everything's dry, everything's dry. So I'm going to go spray that. And then I'll be able to do my white Posca and also my white center. And it won't reactivate the alcohol inks that are down. And so, all right, that's what we're going to do. I will be right back. All right, I am just dabbing this on. I don't even care if it's even. In fact, I'd prefer it not be. So there's Bombay White. I get that dry. Okay. That's not dry, but I want to continue on. I'm going to get my I don't know where all my Posca pens are. I found one. Yay. This one's about out. I need to order some more. See, that ends up 0.9, that's a 1.8, perfect. Point 0.7, great, this is the in-between one. <laughs> this is what I've been wanting. All right, because this one's really small and I like it, but I want big. There we go. We are, we are in the money. Okay, so, again, I've got some of these. Let's see this. Can you see all those colors? Is that not crazy? There we go. We got a new little tripod thing. It's not all tightened down. Um... So I'm really going to use these lines like this and all these. I'm going to really use those because the difference in color is just going to be awesome. This is still drying. But I'm going to go... Yeah, 
yeah, good, good, good uh, width. I'm not going to stay in the lines. I'm going to stay kind of with them, but not in them. I'm not going to make them as jaggedy. I don't like that. Let's see. There we go. This one there. Now, I've noticed how far back I am. If I get up like this, I get too stiff, and I'm, I'm, I don't do as well. I don't, um, I try to control too much. It's almost like this takes it out of my hand. Kind of look over. Is there anything that just really <clears throat> screams at me? All right, then we'll do the leaves now. These I definitely want to have a shape to them. But <clears throat> like this one. Okay, I'm going to go to one that's easy. This one's easy. It kind of does everything for you. That dark right there. Alright, so that kind of sets my leaves to how I want them done. I'm gonna have this. I think it pulls it tighter if you just go ahead from the Bring that down it makes it leaf more like rather than just a random white line that's out in the middle yeah see how that bring that brings it in definitely okay learn a little bit today Yeah, that's that's definitely the way to do those leaves. Makes them look like leaves right off the bat. Okay. Well, I just realized you didn't see probably any of that. Okay, what I was saying was like here, 
instead of stopping it and just having something in the middle, bring it all the way down to the beginnings. Sorry about that. I'll pull it down so you can see and then I forget. I have to say, this is a little interesting. So I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm going to get this dry because it's still a little wet. Okay. I think that's good. Where I left it without some white, it's kind of picked up some color. It's pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to want a little bit of black. This blue. F74. That's my Firefly 74. That's it. And some of this green, I think. Um, it's a bluey green. Maybe that. That. BG09. this these two I think put the lighter one on first or at least what I think might be lighter Completely losing this. This looks black. Um, I'm going to make my darker here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill some of that in. I'm going to take my biggest Posca pen. It's the little one. It's the big one again. And you don't even have to let the lines touch these. You're just indicating. People are assuming it. So, I'm not even worried about that. I do want to go in with the black. And hit in dots with these. This one's not doing great. The black and white just tend to make each other pop a little bit. Alright, I do want to 
finish. I want to do this. This is just a little detail on this bottom. I draw into the petals. There. Make that down here a little more believable. Okay. I am pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think about those um, blue things. <laughs> they were fun to do, but I'm not sure. All right. That is that is the thing for the day. Do blue things. Do squigglies. They're a lot of fun. All right. Y'all go have fun.